No contest.
Are we not muted? I don't know. We might be getting baited. Noel's telling us we're muted. Uh, maybe we're not muted. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Nice. Apparently we fixed it. Dad, did we miss commentary for so far? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Either way. All right. So we're back in it here. Four stocks to three. Jago takes the first stock again, punishing for the Nana kill. If he can get some extra credit here, it's worth it. And here we go. FD giving him a little bit Ooh. more opportunity. Yeah, this is also the stage where Sopo is scariest for sure. Uh, up throw does get some follow-ups guaranteed. If you know the perfect DI flow chart, ICs don't get that much off of it. They still get some damage though, and oftentimes a mix-up, so... Oh! The double spot dodge roll! Okay, so far so good. He gets the Nair off of the uh, dash attack. Jago's gonna have to try to recover, not gonna find anything there. I really like that option to just grab the ledge and use the invincibility to get the back air for free. Yep. Um, it's just like good enough. Yep, yep. Um, and that's gonna bring us back to even stocks. Only taking 33%. Can he find something quick? Oh, here? and Shine and will yes, instant kill sir. both of them. That's one of the things, like you side B early because you're hoping to scoop up Nana with you, but if you do it too early, you don't pick her up. And then it's a Sopo side B, which is way worse. But here's a grab and might get the fall up he needs. And it's a DI mix up. You want to SCI down and away for the down throw down air. Yep, yep, yep. And that just kills you if he forward smashes. So even without wobbling, they get some pretty nasty DI traps and DI mix ups there. Up smash is kind of a tech trap, but he gets the tech, but he gets picked up anyways. Is the that blizzard. close enough for the handoff? <laughs> Was that close enough to the corner for the handoff? I don't I, think so. Yeah, I'm not sure. It might have been RNG either way, but he mashes out of the blizzard. And this is actually not the first time that, that Jago's blizzard yeah. handoffs have gone, kind of gone mashed out of. So, pretty difficult. You got to blizzard as soon as you can and then throw before hit sound is over. Oh! Jago was able to have Nana do the down oh. while Popo was grabbed. So that's how he got out of that situation. But Venelux takes the hit, recovers, and comes right back with an up smash. He's poised to take this 3-0 with two wins on FD. Yeah, and he beats up Nana for good measure afterwards once it... Oh, and he gets the shine! He's down to trade his life here, actually. And he doesn't even have to do that. This is looking like it's going to be a really tough comeback to make to avoid the 3-0, and Venelox closes it out. 3-0. Venelox looking like he was ready for the matchup, winning two games on FD. I think both of the Foxes that took out Jago uh, won 3-0, which means yeah. they both won two games on FD as well. Um, so, yeah, very, very clean stuff. Some of the Ice Climbers at the top level here are... Or sorry, some of the Foxes yeah, at the top level they here. Just, they're really prepped for this matchup. That, that looked like... Everyone unfair. was rehearsed, yeah. <laughs> it, it looked like, what could Jago do? Yeah. Well, he, he definitely could have taken games, because, like, game one he SD'd, game two was last stock, and just back air, you know? So, like, he definitely could have taken the games, but Venelox looked really clean, looked like an uphill battle all the way for Jago. We have a top four, Foxes only. So it, it's happening.